Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about churches. This is an interesting project. We've done a lot of videos about churches. We do a lot of churches. We send out a lot of proposals in churches. A lot of times churches don't have the budget uh, to treat the problems, but nonetheless we try to identify the problems for them and help them out. So the big thing with churches, you know, we do a lot of work in small rooms. Small rooms have low frequency problems. It's a small box. You're trying to put a lot of energy in a small box. It's like taking a size 15 shoe and trying to put it in a size 8 shoe box. It's just not going to fit. You got to bend it over. Well, that's distortion. In large rooms, we don't have the low frequency issues like we have in small rooms, but we have the middle and high frequency issues, which are the reflections off the wall surfaces. So large rooms versus small rooms, we still have problems. They're just at a different frequency range. So we have to adjust our treatment accordingly. The big thing in churches is the walls, the floor, and the ceiling. We have lots of people, lots of members in the congregation. We have a choir, possibly. We could have a band. We definitely have a PA system. So we have lots of energy in the room. We have distance, so low frequency is not really our issue, but the middle and high frequency reverberation times are. And reverberation times, we all know from past videos, are the summation of all the reflections from the wall surfaces. So what does reverberation times do? Well, it's distortion. So it interferes with speech intelligibility. Speech intelligibility is an index that determines how many words in every sentence we can hear. So if we have a 10 word sentence, we have uh, five words that we can hear out of every sentence. Roughly, we have a speech intelligibility index of five, let's say, for purposes of discussion. So we don't want five, we want eight or nine. You wanna be able to hear 80 or 90% of every word that's spoken. And we've all been in large formats and venues where reverberation times just smear and blur everything where you can't hear spoken or musical words. So the goal in churches is to manage those reverberation times off the surface areas. Now, how do we do that? Well, the surface areas are causing the problem, so we have to treat the surface areas. We treat them with middle and high frequency absorption because we want to reduce their strength or amplitude so they cause less problems uh, in the congregation and the floor. We have these four surfaces, the four walls, the front, the rear, and the side walls, which are our most offending surfaces. So we try to treat those four surfaces first. Problem in a lot of churches is we have ornamentation, we have windows, we have things on the wall that prevent us from covering that area with treatment. So the goal with reverberation time management, based on the size of the surface area, let's take a sidewall. If it's 15 foot high, 70 foot long, we're going to need so much square footage coverage on that surface area to lower the reverberation time of that surface area. So we have to treat each surface area independently. And it usually averages 60, 65, 70% coverage in most situations. And a lot of times churches are not willing to give up that much space. You're not willing to give up that much space on the side walls, front and the rear wall. Our only other choice then is going to the ceiling. Going to the ceiling in high rooms with 20, 30, 40 foot ceilings presents its own set of issues when it comes to installation and maintenance. So we'd like to focus on the four walls first and treat as much energy as we can there. If we can't get all four walls, the both side walls are the first two that we have to focus on. Now we have a special program for churches where in all our projects we do the design work. Now design work takes me a long time. I have to run lots of calculations, lots of numbers and put a proposal together. We usually charge a design fee for that. In churches and schools we waive that design fee so there's no fee for that. We do the design and the analysis for free. We also give you a price reduction on raw materials. The nice thing about the raw materials is you can build it yourself. Most churches we find have a congregational member or members that have wood shops and they're more than willing to contribute their time uh, to build the products. So we do kind of a joint venture. We sell you the pro we waive the design fee, we sell you the technology, the foam, and then you build the supporting structure for the foam, usually a wood cabinet, a wood frame, whatever methodology you choose for your church. And the congregational member builds that. So we sell you the materials at a reduced price, we waive the design fee, 
and you build the product and install it on your end. So this kind of marriage, if you will, between our technology and your labor and skill set with the congregation really goes a long way to help reduce costs because I know churches are on limited budgets. And the last thing most of them plan for is acoustic treatment, which really should be the first thing. Uh, and I never could quite understand this, and I've seen hundreds of churches come across my desk. And there seems to be no regra uh, regard at all in budgets or anything else for acoustical treatment. Well, what is your product in the church? It's the spoken word and the musical word. If you can't, if the congregation members can't hear it, what are you doing to yourself? So you're building a large facility that has a large room looks beautiful but if people can't hear what the pastor is saying or the choir is singing or the band is playing what have you done you know what have you done to your product so you're not really having it we do churches all the time and what they say is after they treat the church members start coming back there's a lot of members that leave because they couldn't hear anything especially older members so if your congregation is over 50 Reverberation time has a much larger impact on the hearing systems of people that are over 50. So you have to be conscious of the age of your congregation also. And the, you know, the surface area requirements increase with the age of the congregation. So lots of variables to be taken into consideration. Don't worry about that. We'll do all the design work for you. And then we'll send you a, a drawing of how much square footage you need to cover. What's the size of the units you need to build? And then we'll put a cost to our, our technology and then ship it to you. And you can build it and install it on your end. So this is a great project. You can look through the photos here. This is a great project for a couple reasons. It's a large venue, but we have surface area to treat. We don't have any windows. And we have large flat surface areas with no ornamentation. So this will be a good project. It'll be a very effective treatment. We'll get good results in it. And uh, we'll keep you posted with upcoming video on, on our progress. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.